Hello students. Welcome back to Florence Academy. Today we look at writing line graph using line graph jargon and terms. So IELTS writing task 1, 150 words and 15 to 20 minutes. In a line graph, it's all about comparing the trends. The trends can be upward trend, downward trend, steady. Okay, so this is a line graph and it shows the percentage of tourists to Scotland who visited different attractions. The vertical axis shows the number in percentage and the horizontal axis shows the years between 1980 and 2010. So in a period of two decades, how the percentage of visitors varied to the different uh, destinations, that is aquarium, castle, zoo and festival. So as always, your first paragraph in academic writing task one will be your paraphrase. So I'm going to paraphrase the question, the line graph. depicts the percentage of travelers. So tourists have made, have uh, changed to travelers who visited different attractions. I'm going to write who explored Different can be various tourist attractions. I don't think I can put another word for this. Like I cannot put um, destinations because, uh, you know, the destination will not actually suit the word or cannot be uh, a successful paraphrase for attractions. In Scotland, of course, I can't change that. Between a period of, it's always good to give more details about the question. Period of two decades. And in bracket, I'm going to write 1980 to 2010. A bracket is a very good idea or a very good device to give more information. So that is done. My introduction is over. So that is my introduction. Now I'm going to write about the overview paragraph that is overall. Okay, what is my first observation? It's inferred that, okay, it's very obvious that the castle was the all-time favorite tourist spot or all-time popular tourist spot because it's always the highest. It's reached a maximum of 45 percentage which the other destinations have not reached. So that is my first observation or the key feature. Uh, the popularity of the aquarium in the festival has declined, right? Aquarium and festival has declined from where it started. But the in the case of the zoo, it has, it's showing a steady increase or it's the upward trend. I'll put some words in the description box. These are line graph terms which you should use. Overall, it is inferred. So that is my um, inference. So that is my overview. I'm going to write about Four destinations, the popularity and the trends. Be careful not to write any kind of numerical data in your overview paragraph. 
Overall, it is inferred that the castle was an all-time favorite, you can say, or popular all-time favorite tourist spot. Okay, so here I've used the word spot instead of attraction. So it is not enough if you give one key feature, you are expected to give more than one significant feature in your overview paragraph. The popularity, the popularity of the aquarium and festival declined. Okay, decline while that of the zoo rose in the given period. That is also done. That is my overview. Okay. Now I'm going to write body paragraph one. You can choose any two uh, items of your choice. So in my body paragraph one, I'm going to take the castle and maybe mm, aquarium. Castle and aquarium, okay? And the remaining paragraph, I'll talk about the zoo and the festival. So, my third paragraph is going to be, or my body paragraph one is going to be about the castle and the aquarium. So, let me just... Mm, okay. In the case of the castle, it has shown an upward trend. It has shown a peak and then it has started declining. So that is the trend I'm going to focus on. You don't have to write all the details, but maybe one major detail about uh, the castle is that, castle visitors is that it started from less than 25 percentage, but it reached a dramatic height of 45 percentage. And then again, it has been steadily declining. Okay, so that is the point I'm going to write. Only less than 25 percentage of visitors, of the visitors, went to the castle. Okay, in 1980. And this number rose dramatically to 45 percentage at the end of 15 years. So I'm going to talk about the origin of the number of visitors and the all-time high, which is 45 percentage in the year 1995. At the end of 15 years, and I'm just going to write some more detail in the bracket, which is the 15th year. It's 1995. And then it has dipped. Okay. So this is another line graph term, dipped, which shows a downward trend. As I mentioned earlier, the terms for trends are very important when it comes to a line graph. Dipped to 35 percentage by the year 2000. Okay, by the year 2000. And then remain somewhat steady. Somewhat steady. It has a kind of shown a slight decline. But then I'm not going to go too much into that. Uh, let me say that it has just uh, remained steady for a while. 
or maybe i can say before it declined further so that we have also created a complex sentence so i'm done with my body paragraph one or third paragraph um sorry i've not done, i'm not done with the third paragraph i have just mentioned about the castle in detail the visitors to the castle in detail less than 25 percentage reached an all time high or a dramatic uh, rise uh, in to 45 percentage in 1995 and then it remained uh, there for a while it dipped to 35 percentage in 2000 and then remain steady somewhat steady for a while before it declined further okay that is my that's all about uh the castle visitors now i'm going to mention about the aquarium visitors aquarium visitors as you can see the blue one it has shown a lot of fluctuations okay so after a few fluctuations like it's gone up then gone down again gone up again then gone down okay so after a few fluctuations the aquarium visitors reached less than 10 percentage So after many fluctuations, it's reached less than ten percentage, but it started at twenty percentage. So let me just mention that um, it has reached ten percentage from its origin at at twenty percentage at the end of two thousand ten. okay now we'll compare the fourth the last paragraph we'll compare the festival and the zoo visitors okay now in the case of uh, the festival goers yeah the festival goers showed a steady yeah it kind of a uh, festival showed a steady and marginal decline marginal because it uh, started at 30 percentage and it uh, reaches only less than 20 so it's not a very dramatic fluctuation it's a steady it's been going steadily downwards there is really no fluctuation here per se there is no up and down fluctuations or zigzag pattern the festival goers have been steadily declining the festival goers showed a steady and marginal decline marginal decline from 30 percentage so marginal is a relative term you cannot use it unless and until you are mentioning the data so just below below um 20 percentage okay but in contrast to this what has happened the zoo visitors have showed a lot of fluctuations compared to the festival goers trend the zoo visitors trend has uh, is showing more fluctuations so that is the contrast here as i mentioned the trends have to be compared so in contrast to this to this trend visitors to the zoo showed a zigzag pattern
and climb to a double. So another uh, line graph term is climb. Climb again shows a shows an upward trend. Climbed to double, and I'm going to write the double here, which is twenty percentage. It started at ten. And then, after much zigzag, it again reached twenty, which is double of what it started with. That is, from ten, it has gone double twenty percentage from ten percentage. Okay. Now, some certain things that you can compare or you can mention are these kind of intersecting points. If you notice, there are many intersecting points, and it won't be possible to mention everything. But here, I'm going to mention that, interestingly, an identical number of visitors visited both the zoo and festival in the year just before 2010, before it started trending in opposite directions. So, as you can see, in this point, it has. Reached the intersection point, or identical number of visitors visited both the zoo and the festival before the opposite trends. You can mention there is not, as I've mentioned always, um, there is not a single way of writing it. There are multiple ways to write a line graph. You can mention any of the intersection points. Intersection points are always interesting points to mention. Intersecting points are where. Identical number of people have visited, or some identical, uh, the equal number has happened in the trends. So that is where you find intersecting points. So I'm going to mention that interestingly. An identical number. Of visitors, or maybe here I put tourists because tired of writing visitors. Went to both the zoo and the festival before trending in. Opposite directions. So that is the end of my one sixty three.